I'd like to call this February 6th meeting of the Greenville County Council to order. And I'd like to ask uh, Councilor Barnes to introduce your pastor for the invocation. Thank you, Chairman. I'd like to introduce Reverend Joe Price to come to our invocation for us, please, sir. If you'll come to the podium. Would you join me as we pray? Lord, you have been our God in all generations from every everlasting to everlasting you are God you have created us Lord you sustain us you are the giver of all good gifts your word tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from above and Lord we recognize how blessed we are as a people Lord we're blessed because we live in the greatest land on earth the land with the greatest freedom uh, Lord we realize that that was a gift from you that you put into the hearts of our founding fathers, Lord, to raise up a nation, Lord, that would honor you. We thank you for that gift. We thank you, Lord, that we live in such a blessed place as we do in that great nation, the state of South Carolina and the county of Greenville. We realize that's a gift, Lord. We are blessed people in a blessed nation, and we thank you for that. And, Lord, we also realize that one of the great gifts you give us is the blessing of government, which is your idea, so that we might live peaceable and free lives. And we thank you for that gift, Lord, of government. Your word ordains it and establishes it, and Lord, it tells us about it, and we see that throughout Scripture. Lord, tonight we thank you for the gift of those who serve in government, from our law enforcement officers, Lord, and to these who serve on county council who work diligently, Lord, to bring about a peaceable life to all of us. And we know their job's not easy. We know there's a lot of hard topics and subjects that have to be discussed. And, Lord, we realize that uh, they have to work things out uh, in unity. And we pray for that tonight, Lord, so that we can continue to live the lives that we live here in Greenville County in South Carolina in this great nation. Lord, your word tells us if we lack wisdom to ask for it, and you will give it to us. So, Lord, tonight I pray for wisdom among these, our county councilmen, we pray, Lord, that uh, they would be like Solomon when given an opportunity to ask for anything. He asked for wisdom to understand, not just wisdom alone, but the wisdom and to understand, Lord, what the needs are and how to meet those needs. We pray for that, for these are good servants. And tonight we also realize that your word tells us that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. So we pray tonight as they begin their deliberations here tonight that that they would understand, Lord, that um, they stand before you and that they would do their work, Lord, as unto you. Lord, again, we thank you for all the good gifts you give us, the blessings you have bestowed upon us, and I pray that we would be worthy stewards of all of it. And we pray these things in your holy and righteous name, the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. If you'll join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the Business on the agenda are the approval of minutes from January 16. Make a motion that we approve the minutes. All those in favor of approval of the minutes say aye. Aye. Those opposed, and the ayes have it. Uh, we don't have any proclamations or special recognition except for one. We'd like to welcome our, our thank, our wish our colleague a happy birthday. Happy thank birthday, you. Ms. Seaman. Thank you. Um, appearances, current agenda items. Do we have anybody that signed up to speak? Yes. Okay. Next item on the agenda, uh, public hearings, and I'll call on Councilor Chairman Kerbin. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have one public hearing tonight. Uh, Anderson Greenville Joint County Industrial Business Park 2010 Park Agreement Amendment Project Austin. This public hearing is being held for the purpose of receiving comments from the public regarding an ordinance to amend an agreement for the deliverance of a uh, development, excuse me, of a joint County Industrial and Business Park 2010 Park of Anderson and Greenville Counties so as to enlarge the park and add certain property in Anderson County known as Project Austin. Uh, Ms. McCaskill, has anyone signed up to speak at this public hearing? Uh, 
Mr. Chairman, Mr. Kerbin, no one has signed up for this public hearing. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I declare the public hearing closed. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. <coughs> Make a motion to approve the, all items on the consent agenda. All right. Uh, no. Uh, I want to object to that or file a motion to sever E. Okay. Um, then we will uh, move for adoption of the consent agenda with the exception of item E. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed and the ayes have it will put E um, up at the end of the uh, agenda. Uh, next item on the agenda are resolutions, and I'll call on Chairman Kirvin. Thank Project you, Mr. Tango. Uh, thank you, sir. Our, our first resolution is Project Tango, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, I move for adoption, a resolution to amend uh, that certain master agreement governing the Octagon Industrial Park by and between Greenville, uh, Lawrence County, South Carolina, and Greenville County, South Carolina, dated September 1st, 2010, to enlarge the park and add certain property of Duke Energy Carolinas, LLC, located in Lawrence County. Right, the, you've heard the motion. All those in favor of adoption of the resolution, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Uh, Project Cranberry Sauce, Councilor Kerbin. Yes, sir. A second resolution. Uh, I move for adoption of re a resolution authorizing the execution and delivery of an inducement agreement by and between Greenville County, South Carolina, and Project Cranberry Sauce, whereby under certain conditions Greenville County will execute a fee in lieu of tax and special source credit agreement with uh, respect to the project in the county, whereby the project would be subject to payment of certain fees in lieu of taxes, and whereby the company will be, will be provided certain credits against fee payments and reimbursement of investment in related qualified infrastructure and providing for related matters. All right. You've heard the motion. All in favor of adoption of the resolution, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Ordinances at third reading. Uh, Anderson, Greenville, jo Joint County Industrial Business Park. Chairman Kerman. Yes, sir. Thank you. We have uh, two ordinances at uh, second, at third reading. Uh, let me get my place here. 10A. Okay. 10A. Anderson uh, Greenville <coughs> Joint County Industrial Business Park 2010 Park Agreement at Project Austin. I move for adoption at the third reading an ordinance to amend an agreement for the development of a joint county industrial and business park 2010 park of Anderson and Greenville County so as to enlarge the park to add certain property in Anderson County known as Project Austin. All right. All in favor of adoption of the ordinance at third reading, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Um, item 10B, Project Eagle. Chairman Kerbin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This item was inadvertently <coughs> placed on the agenda um, at the last council meeting. This project was held until the public hearing was scheduled. That public hearing has not yet been scheduled, so we won't proceed further tonight on this. Okay. Do we need to move to hold this? or Okay. It's already held, yes. Sir. All right. All right, sounds good. Uh, the next item on the agenda are ordinances at first reading, and we've got Lawrence Greenville Octagon Industrial Park Agreement Amendment. Chairman Kerbin. Thank you, sir. I present for first reading an ordinance uh, to amend um, the master agreement governing the Octagon Business at Park, Industrial Park located, excuse me, between uh, Lawrence and Greenville counties so as to enlarge the park and add certain parcels in Lawrence County, Project Tomahawk. All right, we'll keep that on the council floor. Item B, Chairman Kerbin. Yes, sir. Uh, this is also in Anderson County. I present for first reading an ordinance to amend an agreement for the development of a joint county industrial and business park 2010 park of Anderson and Greenwood County so as to enlarge the park to add certain parcels in Anderson County known as Project Colorful. All right, that'll stay on the council floor as well. Item C, Chairman Kerbin. Greenville County General Obligation Bond Twin Chimneys. Yes, sir. I present for first reading an ordinance to provide for the issuance and sale of not exceeding $11,500,000 Greenville County South Carolina General Obligations Bond Series 2024A to prescribe the purpose for which the proceeds shall be expended to provide for the payment thereof and other matters relating thereto. 
All right, that'll stay on the floor. And final one, uh, 11D, Project Cranberry Sauce, Chairman Kirvin. Yes, sir. I present for first reading an ordinance <coughs> authorizing the execution and delivery of a fee in lieu of tax agreement buying between Greenville County, South Carolina, and a company known to the county at this time as Project Cranberry Sauce with respect to certain economic development property in the county whereby such property will be subject to certain payments in lieu of taxes, including the provision of certain special source credits and other matters related thereto. All right. That will stay on the council floor as well. Uh, we'll move to item number 12 on the agenda, committee reports, and I'll recognize Chairman Seaman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On behalf of the committee, I move to appoint the following Greenville County Citizens 2024 Academy. Marion Hunt, Lee Vining, Dennis Gibson, Rhonda Tucker, Peter Sperry, Janelle Phillips, David Mitchell, Eric Mitchell, Kathy Williams, and Phyllis Johnson. All, right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, and the ayes have it. Next item, appellate case number. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On behalf of the committee, I move to approve the settlement of appellate case number 2023-000699 and civil action number 2023-CP-23-03785 pursuant to the terms discussed in executive session. All right. Uh, you've heard the motion. Any uh, questions? Uh, all in favor of adoption of that uh, report from Committee of the Whole, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, the next item are, are, is administrator's report. He's out sick tonight, so uh, we wish him well and hope he and his wife get better. Oh. Chairman, matter from the consent agenda carried over to committee. Oh, uh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you for uh, bringing that back to our attention. So item uh, 8E from the consent agenda is the reappointment of current members to the County Square Redevelopment Corporation. Any questions on this item on the consent agenda? Mr. Chairman, uh, I believe you're asking, or the agenda is asking the council to vote on these three individuals. Uh, it seems like a pretty important and consequential board. Is this a board that has to do with county square redevelopment? And Because uh, I, I look back at the minutes from about two years ago, and they approved a $120 million bond. And it looked like it had to do with the redevelopment. Is, is, am I right or am I off on that? I'm going to ask Mr. Tolleson for Yeah. Um, why don't you, Mr. Tolleson, can you give us kind of a quick overview? Mr. Chairman, members of council, I can help a little bit. This is the uh, financing uh, corporation set up uh, for the redevelopment project, and that's what they do. It's not the uh, property oversight or development necessarily oversight. It's just the, the financing mechanism group. Uh, to do uh, issuances uh, on behalf of the county for the project. Okay, so they would be making decisions uh, ongoing about the redevelopment of all that property and no, just uh, just regarding debt. Okay, and and that's if we authorize it. Correct. Uh, yes, sir. And th thank you, Mr. Chairman. The. All three, uh, I would just move that we would hold this to give us a little chance to just maybe even hear from these. I mean, we, we spent a day or two interviewing all the, the board members for every other board. Um, I don't recall. It appears, I, I know Miss Gracely personally, great lady, but she's the, it appears every one of them is a government employee. Um, one of them is, our, is employed by Greenville County. Mr. Castile, right? It, is that a motion, Mr. Shaw? Yes, I'd just like to, a motion to hold this or reconsider it at a different time and, and um, give us a chance to hear from these folks, see what, um, interview them, basically, for this important board. Mr. Chairman, I move to table Mr. Shaw's motion. All right. All those in favor of tabling the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed? Yeah, the ayes have it. Um, Make the, a motion to approve the appointment of the board members. All right. All those in favor say Roll aye. Roll call, please. Roll call. Ms. McCaskill, if you'll call the roll, or put the roll up.
Mr. Chairman, you have 10 in favor, two opposed. All right, the uh, motion is adopted. Um, moving on to item 14, requested motions by council members. I'd like to call on ch uh, Chairman Barnes for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, reconsider the waste tire haulers ordinance. In our December 5th meeting last year, we unanimously adopted a waste tire hauler ordinance, ordinance number 5574 at third reading. Since then, the county and the sheriff's office determined the sheriff's office should administrate the ordinance. To do this, we need to bring the ordinance back and put in the sheriff's office in place of the solid waste division. Okay. Um, you want to read the motion? Well, there's there's four amendments that are redlined in your your docket or your, your packet. Um, you want to read those, Mike? You, yes. you, Mr. Barnes, do you want me to read that or? <coughs> yes, sir. I move to suspend the county council yeah, rule first. number three D nine to allow council to consider third reading on this ordinance. All right. All those in favor of suspending council rule three D nine, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Next motion. I move to suspend the council rule 4B3 to allow council to take up amendments to the ordinance at third reading. All right. All those in favor of suspending council rule 4B3 say aye. Aye. Those opposed, and the ayes have it. Next motion. I move to amend ordinance 5574 to replace all references to the solid waste division with Greenville County Sheriff's Office. Okay. All those in favor of amendment number three, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, and the ayes have it. Uh, final motion is, uh, Mr. Chairman? I move to adopt the ordinance as amended. All, right. All those in favor of adoption of the ordinance as amended, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, and the ayes have it. And that is the reconsideration is adopted, and we've made those changes. Thank you, Mr. Barnes. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> I'd like to call on uh, uh, Dr. Fant for open special application period. Mr. Chairman, if, if you will indulge me, before I do that, I want a quick announcement about SCTAC, which is an important update. I don't want Ms. Seaman to think I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, SCTAC President and CEO Jody Barber, I mean Jody Bryson, uh, joined Governor Henry McMaster. Mr. Chairman, point of orders, is this on the agenda? I've, I've, he's making an announcement. It's, yes, I've, I've, I've let him speak. Him. He's got the chair. Mr. Chairman, uh, wouldn't this is what we used to do at the end of the, all the meetings where all of us could kind of grandstand a little bit about something that we've done or something in our district. I would ask that you uh, just get on with the business on the agenda. Okay. Well, Ms. Mr. Shaw, you're overruled. I have recognized Mr. Fant. He's not said me, I, or myself at all in this motion. He's talking about SETAC and, a mo and a, an announcement with the governor coming. So I'm recognizing Dr. Fant. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. SETAC President and CEO Jody Bryson joined Governor Henry McMaster, Lockheed Martin officials, and other state dignitaries in Columbia last week to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Lockheed Martin F-16. During a state house ceremony, Governor McMaster issued a proclamation honoring Lockheed Martin's <coughs> longstanding contributions to South Carolina. At the official press conference in the governor's office, Lockheed Martin Vice President and F-16 program, Trish Pagan publicly recognized Jody and SC Tech for their incredible partnership over the past 15 years, leading to Greenville's designation as the global home of the Lockheed F-16. Great. Congratulations, SC Tech and the governor and uh, the F-16, Lockheed Martin. Thank you, uh, Chairman Fant. You're now recognized uh, with a request or a motion, item 14B. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. As noticed on the County Council agenda, I move to suspend Section 11 of the Greenville County Board and Commission policy so as to allow for a motion to open a special application period for the Greenville County Planning Commission. All those in favor of that suspension? Mr. Chairman. Oh, go ahead, man. Whoever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've been kind of paying attention to this because the two people that we lost off of the Planning Commission were from my district. But, um, hold, hold on hold on one second, Mr. Plant. Do you have a motion? Because he's made a motion. I need to... Just I need to, the rules to talk about it. Yeah, I mean... Our, just, just to suspend the rules. That's all. Well, I guess it would technically be in consideration of whether we should s suspend the rules okay. or not. Okay, you're recognized. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we have elections coming up for this in May as well, correct? We do. So is there anything pressing that's causing us to have to fill these spots between now and May? Mr. Chairman, I can answer that. Um, 
We've, we've expressed, received, or at least I have, received concerns from the Chairman of Planning Commission at their next meeting they may not have a quorum. Um, so that's part of the reason. And um, another reason is one of the members unexpectedly resigned. Right. So this is a, so, yeah, you know, judge. But um, so that was, that's the big issue. They're, they're in jeopardy of not having a quorum at their next meeting. So the ap regular application period would be after that. Well, I'll break the question up, then I have another one for the next part, too. Okay. All those in favor of suspending the rules, uh, please Roll say call, aye. please. Um, I've already asked for the ayes. Um, so the, aye. Aye. all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Oh. All right. The ayes have it. Uh, you just, when you ask for a roll call, you've got to do it before I announce the. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the next item, um, well, the next now, 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 now you, the motion. Yes, sir. Okay. I move to open a special 10 day application period for the Greenville County Planning Commission in order to fill two vacancies due to recent resignations. All right, Mr. Mr. Blunt. Um, one of these, uh, seats comes up in May, if I'm not mistaken. So I would suggest that we, if we were going to fill seats, it'd be one versus two, because then this person who we fill it with is going to have to turn around and immediately do his, did this again in May. So the one, the one seat would make sense. The two, to me, seems it doesn't really make any sense unless there's something that we need it for that I don't know about. Maybe ask okay. Clerk, if she has point of information, Mr. Juvalakis. Well, Mr. Chairman, I, I just say that I, if we've got an election coming up in May, uh, we have now gone on since Mr. Uh, I don't know which one had a heart attack or had a heart issue. We've had meetings that's gone on now for a few months without him being there. I don't understand what the rush is now that we have to um, have a spe make break the rules and having a special election when we can do this in May. So I, 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 don't, I just don't understand it and why we, why we need to do it. I hear we're talking about a quorum. It's only two more months, three more months. Why do we got to do that now? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Kervin, Chairman Kervin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as we all know, the Planning Commission uh, makes a lot of important decisions on behalf of all citizens around the whole county. I think it's very important that we uh, don't leave uh, vacancies on the Planning Commission any longer than we we'll have to. Uh, because we want the Planning Commission to represent as many citizens around the county as possible, and I would support filling it with the uh, open uh, period for two applicants at this period as proposed. All right, Mr. Lucas. I'd like to, if, if we're going to do that, I think it ought to be a 45-day time to give us more time to look at uh, for uh, applicants that that we're going to fill that. that. I think is it's going to be too quick. To the motion? I'd like to make an amendment. Okay. All Please. those in favor of amending the motion to make it a 45-day application period, say aye. 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 Those aye. opposed? No. no. The noes have it. That amendment is defeated. <laughs> so we're back to the motion to open a special 10-day application for the two planning commission vacancies. Yeah. Ms. Seaman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and you all probably already know this, um, but just I pulled it up from our website. In addition to the two people we lost, there's actually already a vacant seat. So I think that's also part of the challenge. We're, they're already down one, and now technically they're down three. So, okay. Mr. Chairman. And we've got, it's my understanding, we've got two potential <coughs> openings coming up in March. So we could have five members of this board um, that are not there. So, um, Mr. Blunt. I would just like to stress that Mr. Uh, or Judge Looper, that I talked to him right when he had to do this. Uh, it's been months since he was taken off, or since he removed himself from the board, and everything seemed to go smoothly. So I still think that having the two with the one that's going to have to immediately come, it's not really fair to the person. Right. We're going to select somebody, and they're going to have to come back in three months and maybe not get the seat the next time. Mr. Chairman. Ms. Seaman. Um, Mr. Blunt, and maybe so. Um, again, I'm just looking at so it's your, uh, Mr. Howard's seat, right, is one. So his term technically doesn't expire till 25. Right, but what about Mr. Looper's seat, Matt Looper? Yeah, so that's so that's the one you're talking about because right. it, it it expires in 24. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get what Chairman. you're saying. Thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you. I respect Mr. Blunt. I understand completely what Mr. Blunt uh, is is saying, and I, I agree with that. The only reason I think this is important is because to I guess Mr. Blunt's point, it has been vacant for months and 
to be honest, we have been hearing from the chairman of the planning commission constantly. They needed to fill it. Um, they've been trying to make do. I think in addition to the resignation, I think there's going to be some other conflicts from what I've gathered by the chairman and some other current members at the next meeting from regular scheduling issues. So he's been honest for a long time that it needs to be filled. So I agree with you. And I think they've been trying to make do with waiting to the application period, but I think they're in jeopardy of a, of a quorum issue. Yes. My next question would be then if that's what we're doing, which still sounds really squirrely to me, um, how are we going to decide who gets the short session and who gets the full one? If let me ask, the, and sorry to interrupt, Mr. I, I, I can help him with that one if you want me to. Well, I was just going to ask Regina, does how many if we did one, how many members would that put on the um, potentially at the next meeting from uh, on the on the board? If we only did one in the special application period, I'm just trying to see would they have enough for a quorum? And Mr. Harrison, it's a nine-member board. There are with seven members now that would give them eight. And then and if there's two, if there's two that are out for other reasons at the next meeting so they still could have six so I, I i mean i've got no problem doing one but i just i think it's important we feel we have a special application period at least fill something because they have a quorum if we want transparency so we can just kind of know who's which one's gonna get which long before you came here mr blunt we argued that there needed to be minority representation on the planning commission because the planning commission goes into minority com communities and they need a representation i can assure you mr H mr howard leaving the person that takes Mr. Howard's place will not only be African American, but they will also be a female. So we're gonna cover two. So now that uh, one was already kind of that. So they would that would be a one on one swap. Hmm. So, so whoever the African American female is gets the longer one, and the other one gets the shorter one by default. Is that I don't understand where that it, comes. They into would be play. taking Mr. Howard's spot. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so whoever doesn't whoever fits that profile is going to be getting that that ex extended period. They're just filling the term. Right. That, um, how do we how do we decide that because of their race or gender that they get a longer term than the person that we're because they just so with. happen to be filling the one because Mr. Howard got called to to, right, to for act deployment. And do it. Right. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, is there a rule? Do we have a rule? Is that in the rules of county council or is that in our books? What Mr. Uh, Councilor Fant just said. So if that's not in the rules, then that's not the case. Well, what he just said is not Ms. accurate. Ms. Juvalakis. Yes, sir. Thank you. Calm down. <coughs> yes, sir. That's, th that rule that he referred to has nothing to do with the motion that is before us. The well, motion well, before us. Why don't you call him out of order? The, the motion, <coughs> because he can speak. I'm not calling you out of order, but I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, the, mo the, the motion in front of us is a 10-day application for two appointments. That, Mr. That, Chairman. Mr. Chairman. I, we're not discussing right. rules changes. Right. I mean, that's, how about, that's how about the, this? How about we call the question? Mr. Chairman. I, I, I'm sorry. He called the question. We called the question. Uh, well, discussing my name and then bringing up race and gender is just ridiculous. So I'd like to respond if I could. Well, I, I it was just a I, point. I, I, I called the question. It's not a question is a privilege motion. All those in favor of all call. Question. Okay. Ah, goodness. That is when would I admit I would do that name. There's okay. a motion to amend the motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is we're on voting on calling what, what the voting on calling the question. Voting on calling the question? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, you have four in favor, eight in opposition. Okay. Um, okay, say that again. Call, what was that? There are four in favor, eight opposed. Okay, so we are not calling the question. That Correct. motion fails. So the, the motion before us, again, is the 10-day application uh, for the Greenville County Planning Commission in order to fill two vacancies. And, and I'll call roll call for that, but, please. Mr. Our, Blunt, sorry. I would like to make a motion to amend the motion. Mm -hmm. um, so to that, we, we nominate w one seat, but not the seat that the term is going to expire in May. Okay. Is that, Mr. Tollison, is that clear enough a motion for, okay. All those, in, does everybody understand that motion? We're going to change it to one vacancy, which is already 
on uh, occurring. Yeah. And so you asking to to not fill Judge Looper's seat, the one he had. Yeah, whoever's whoever's Mr. term Mr. is going to yeah, whoever's term is going to result in a two month you know seat, and then they have to do it again. Whoever that is, uh, if it's if it's Metz or if it was Javaris, I have no idea. But are we calling to support that? That that's what we are you. What do you yeah. say? Be clear on what you're saying, not guys. Or one that the one that will renew in March or May, we're taking that one off the off the open application. Which is Judge Luke. We're not correct? doing it unless it passes. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. All right. So I, I, actually, if it's a big deal, I can live with that. I, I can live with that. Now it's going to be. It may cause a tie from time to time, but I would like to speak to the amendment to the motion on the floor. Um, I disagree. As I said earlier, the sooner we can fill these vacancies, the better it is for the citizens. Greenville County, even though it might be a short period of time, whoever's in there can reapply as anybody else can. But I think we need to get them filled as soon as we possibly can. All right. That's my position. Any other? Just a point of information. Mr. Bradley. Mr. Did we not go about a year with eight before I, this? Did we not go with eight? I'm, I'm not. I I'm can't answer I'm pretty positive that. we did. Right. Okay. Mr. Chairman, point of information. Do, do, you, do you have a question? I do. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just to be clear, this uh, we will have an opportunity to consider and debate the applicant. And the in be, that's what all this does is open up the application. If you pass Mr. Blunt's amendment, this would open up the application for one applicant. Gotcha. You anybody can step forward and and sign up, and then we vote on those applicants. And the term would start whenever we approve that person and end in May. May of 25. Five of the existing term. So y'all, just to be clear, so there's, I, I, well, I know where y'all try to go with this. We, if we do the one, we're replacing Mr. Howard, who resigned. We all clear? Yes. Yes. We are replacing Mr. Howard. I don't, I don't think resigned. any, I don't think anybody is trying to replace Javara. So uh, this literally a question about the seat that's coming up in several months. It makes no sense to fill and then to refill. That's it. And that's Judge Looper. I'm going to call the question. I, I, I can motion. Either one, but I mean, it's fine. All right. All those in favor of calling the question say aye. 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 Those opposed, the ayes have it. Um, we will now um, proceed with uh, Mr. Blunt's motion to um, amend the previous motion to have one vacancy um, that for the position that would expire in May of 2025. Um, all those in favor of that motion, of that amendment, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. Might have to roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Let's do a roll call. This is a vote in favor of Mr. Blunt's motion. Correct. It, well, it's a vote on Mr. Blunt's yeah, amendment. Excuse me. <laughs> you have nine in favor, three opposed. Okay. The motion, the amendment passes. Um, the question before us is the motion as amended. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, the ayes have it, will open that application period for one one applicant or for one seat. Um, we have one final motion. Motion we adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed and the ayes have it. Thank you all for your hard work tonight.